Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a privacy statement in your uh, Squarespace website. So starting off, it's really just creating a new page. I would have it under the not linked just because you don't want it in your menu. So not well there. And then um, if you go to page layouts, they may even have like a privacy policy. Yeah, they do um, right here. So you could just click on that and use that template. Uh, Terms of service is kind of similar, but not really. So anyway, use privacy policy. It does not matter which one you choose because we're not trying to make this page look pretty. We're just adding a privacy policy. So um, then you can just replace this text. Um, if you need to purchase a privacy policy, uh, I will link below this video. Uh, what I would suggest, the legal page has some that you can purchase and then just add in your information. So um, once you've copy and pasted your privacy policy in there, um, didn't mean to do that. Let's go up to the settings and just make sure it's titled uh, what we want it to be. So I just don't really want this one, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So the URL slug is privacy-policy, that looks good. We'll save that. And then the next step is to link it or make it visible. Um, so somewhere on your website, people can see that you have a privacy policy. There's different ways to do this. You could link it in your footer. You could have it as like a pop-up banner. So I'll show you two different ways to do it. So if you go down to your footer and click edit, you, your footer is the same on every page. So it really doesn't matter which page you edit the footer on because it'll of course change to every page. So edit footer and then you could just really can add text anywhere. But we'll just do this. We'll do privacy policy. Highlight that, link it to backslash privacy policy. This one right here. Apply. And then make sure you save it. Um, the other way that you could have it is sometimes you'll see like a little banner at the bottom. Um, so not really a pop up, but a banner. And you can do that in Squarespace by going to, <laughs> yeah, okay, marketing. And then announcement bar. And you could have this announcement bar say anything, really. Um, it is a premium feature, so you need to be on a business or commerce plan. But uh, you go enable, and it pops up there. And then you would just say, um, by scrolling around on this website, you agree to the privacy policy. And again, you're going to link that. You could highlight it again, or you could just do a click through URL. And you can always go here if you want to link as well, but um, just go backslash privacy, see, and then of course save it. So that is how you add a privacy policy to your website. If you need to purchase a privacy policy, um, you, I will link one below that you can get.